see the timber patch that's on the far side yep. over there. That dark timber, that's where they went up and over and slipped into bed. seen a bunch of mule deer here about a mile and a half away and we're gonna go up a coulee and see how close we get to them see if there's any decent bucks in there He's a three by four or four by four. One time might have been broken off, but it's wide and solid. It's a nice buck. I think we're gonna go down and take a better, closer look at him and make a decision. He's about 550 yards from us right now. Okay, we're ready.
he's gonna get up. He's watching all his does. Yeah. Right. Those does are 290. He's 300 right now, 305. If he'll just go broadside, give me a decent shot. 300 yards. Awesome. He's mine. Shoot him again. Got him again. Good shot. All right. We should be just done over the hill here. Dad, all right. Yeah. <laughs> nice Montana muley. He's got nice brow tines. Is he bigger than you thought or what you expected or what? Uh, he's about exactly what I saw through the binos. Did you know he had that little? This little one? Yeah, I saw that. I didn't see the brow tines. I didn't pay any attention to them. I just knew he was a solid three by four. I'm, I'm happy with That's him. That's a good Montana buck. Yeah, he's a nice east side Montana buck. I mean, he's got some mass to him too for a east side buck he's a good buck mm -hmm. i like him yeah we're out here in eastern montana taking advantage of the nice weather it's pre-rut today's october 30th this buck was with some does did yep. pretty good yeah yep shot my first mealy buck 48 years ago tomorrow on halloween really yeah and proposed to your mother 38 years ago today so happy anniversary dear <laughs> 48 years ago you must have been using flintlocks or something back then they didn't even have center fire rifles did they i was using a 22 yeah a 22. That's all we had. <laughs> yeah probably <laughs> probably well thanks for watching another beyond the grid anytime you have a chance to go hunt with your dad he taught me how to hunt when i was just a little kid make a big point to go hunt every year with family you should too most important thing in life the biggest lesson I guess for me is always make that time and go hunting and the more time you spend with your family the better so enjoy that time together good shooting dad thanks you must have learned it from me I must have <laughs> <laughs> I can't believe you agreed with me <laughs>
been sitting on this ridge and uh, just kind of waiting. We found, found some elk that were moving across, coming down, feeding to get a drink down in this bottom down here. And there's a herd bull with uh, four or five cows. And um, we're gonna try and get a little closer and get a little better look at him. And um, if, if it looks right and what we wanna do, then we'll go ahead and try and get this bull. killed my first six point bull ever. 48 years old. I've been hard all my life as long as I could and uh, finally got a six point bull found. And it's going to be dedicated to my dad because I lost my dad this year. And uh, he's up there watching this and I'm pretty sure he woke me up from my nap to make sure I look down and saw that bull. So it's a pretty fantastic hunt. Long time coming. I busted him right there. Did you see a bullet right there? Well, I can feel it right there where I hit him. Right high. Excellent. High yep. Jeez, he's photogenic. He's gonna make some good photos. Good. Well, guys, opening day in Montana. Got his first six by six. It's a great bull for this area. We came out and we found this big bull here and uh, we literally made a sprint it's not too bad of a pack out but we still have our work cut out for us we get working on this guy and get him quartered up and left tonight and out tomorrow right congratulations yeah man. thank you good work this is gonna be really heavy isn't it yep <laughs> yep that's the glory load though <laughs>